Hey, my beautiful babies, it's Miss V, and happy Taco Tuesday. Guess what? It is Black History Day, and throughout the month, you're going to find Miss V reading to you about wonderful and dynamic Black Americans who have helped us throughout this country and who have taught us how to live a peaceful, meaningful, and purposeful life. Today, I'm going to share Miss Rosa Parks. And this is a wonderful story that's going to help us understand what Miss Rosa Parks believed. Are you ready? Let's begin. Oh my goodness. Did you tell yourself that you are the greatest today? Did you say it? Come on, let's say it. Say, I am the greatest. You got that right. You are the greatest. Now, let's begin. Rosa Parks was born 1913 and Rosa Parks passed in 2005. She was an activist and she was a writer. Growing up in Montgomery, Alabama, Rosa detested the rules of segregation. Having to drink from different water fountains or being barred from white only restaurants. And in the South, rules for riding the bus were particularly harsh. A black person had to enter through the front door, pay the fare, and exit the bus, and then re-enter through the rear door. Each bus had three sections, a whites only section in the front, a black section in the back, and an overflow section in the middle. If the middle was empty, a black person could sit there. But if one white person wanted to sit in the middle, every black person would have to get up and stand in the back of the bus. In December 1955, after a long shift at work, Rosa waited for a bus with empty seats and finally got one with a seat in the overflow section. But before long, the white section became full and Rosa and others were asked to move. Enough was enough for Rosa. She refused to relinquish her seat. The bus driver filed charges and Rosa was arrested and jailed. She used her one phone call to contact her friends at the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. It's also known as the NAACP. Rosa was not the first person to fight these laws. And it wasn't even her first time she had been arrested previously for defying bus rules. But her protests ignited a reaction that caught the attention of the whole country. Martin Luther King Jr. called for a boycott of all public transportation in Montgomery. The Montgomery bus boycott was a key event of the civil rights movement and set off a chain reaction of protest across the United States of America. The boycott was ultimately successful and in 1956, the bus system was integrated. But there was still a long way to go in fight for civil rights. So Rosa continued to work with the NAACP and the Black Power Movement throughout 
her life. Miss Rosa Parks. And this is a wonderful little book. It's called Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History by Vashti Harrison. There's some wonderful little leaders in this book. And Miss V can't wait to share them with you. You guys, if you'd like for me to share any kind of stories with you, I'm going to be posting different posts where you can leave comments. And I'm so sorry that the new rules and guidelines don't allow us to keep in touch like we used to. But there's still ways we can. You know, my email is thepopcornkit at gmail.com if you'd like to reach out. I love my beautiful babies. We're all a family. And you know what else? Miss V sends you peace. She sends you love and happiness and joy and everything wonderful and good. I'll see you soon.